We continue now to that breaking story this morning about Kenneth Bay, the American missionary who has been jailed in North Korea for more than a year. He appeared before reporters at a press conference under guard, appealing to the American government for his release. ABC's Terry Moran has the latest on this story. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Lara. This is the latest chapter in a tense and really tragic standoff. Kenneth Bay, an American, a Christian missionary, as you said, arrested in late 2012 and convicted in North Korea of leading a Christian plot to topple the North Korean government. They sentenced him to 15 years of hard labor. Today, that strange and slightly ominous scene, Bay let out in his prison graze. He's prisoner 103. He made a deeply contrite statement saying he'd sinned against North Korea, saying he was sorry he couldn't be with his grandmother. It's her birthday today, his daughter's birthday tomorrow. And he said maybe he could be a bridge between North Korea and the West. The bottom line in this strange scene, Kenneth Bay has become a bargaining chip in the tense relationship between North Korea and the U.S. over North Korea's nuclear program. Uh, the American government has said that he should be released on humanitarian grounds. But Kenneth Bay's family says the Obama administration just isn't doing enough to set him free.